Did you experience the recent solar eclipse? It was a spectacle that left many in awe. The moon, in its timeless dance with the earth and sun, gracefully slid across the sun's face, casting a shadow that plunged the day into twilight. On April 8, 2024, this celestial ballet was visible across a vast swath of North America, from the sun-drenched landscapes of Texas, up to the bustling cities nestled in the heart of Maine, and even reaching out to the picturesque coastlines of Canada. This event, known as a total solar eclipse, occurs when the moon aligns perfectly between the Earth and the sun, briefly obscuring the sun's blinding light and allowing us a rare glimpse of its ethereal corona. As the moon took center stage, the world paused. Schools, offices, parks, and homes all turned their eyes skyward, united in a shared moment of wonder. This was not just an astronomical event, it was a global experience. The 2024 solar eclipse was particularly significant due to its wide path of totality and the extended duration of the blackout. These unique circumstances, combined with increased solar activity, made it even more spectacular than the one in 2017. It was not just a visual spectacle, but also a bounty of scientific opportunities. NASA and other scientific institutions seized this event to gather valuable data. The eclipse provided a rare opportunity for experiments and observations that were otherwise impossible, making it a significant event in the scientific community. So let's delve into the events of this celestial phenomenon. Let's journey back to that day when the moon stole the sun's light and we stood for a brief moment in the moon's shadow. A solar eclipse doesn't just happen suddenly, it's a gradual process with several stages. Picture the celestial ballet of the moon slowly sliding in front of the sun until it completely obscures it, casting a shadow over the earth. This is the magic of a solar eclipse. The first stage of the solar eclipse is known as the partial eclipse. This happens when the moon begins to move across the sun but only a portion of it is covered. The sky begins to darken slightly and a crescent sun can be seen. For the recent 2024 eclipse, this stage began early in the afternoon with the moon taking its first bite out of the sun. As the moon continues to move, we transition into the second stage of the solar eclipse known as totality. This is the climax of the eclipse when the moon fully obscures the sun, casting a shadow over a specific region on Earth. During this stage, it's safe to look directly at the eclipse without any protective eyewear. For those lucky enough to be in the path of totality during the 2024 eclipse, they experienced a surreal twilight in the middle of the day, with stars and planets becoming visible. The sun's corona, its outer atmosphere, created a mesmerizing halo around the moon. The third stage is the ending of the eclipse, or the second partial eclipse. This is when the moon begins to move away from the sun, revealing it bit by bit until it's fully visible again. This stage mirrors the first partial eclipse, but in reverse, with daylight gradually returning. Each stage of the solar eclipse offers a unique and breathtaking view. From the slow encroachment of the moon over the sun during the first partial eclipse, through the awe-inspiring sight of totality, and finally to the return of daylight during the second partial eclipse. The solar eclipse is not just a single moment, but a beautiful, gradual dance between the sun, the moon, and the earth. The most exciting part of a solar eclipse is the path of totality. This is where the magic really happens, where the moon fully aligns with the sun and the observer is plunged into a surreal twilight. It's where the sun's radiant corona dances around the moon's silhouette, creating a spectacle that is both breathtaking and humbling. Let's rewind to April 8, 2024 to understand this better. A great celestial ballet was taking place. The moon was preparing to cast a shadow that would stretch from Texas, rippling across the United States all the way to Maine, and then out across the cool depths of Canada's Atlantic coast. This was the path of totality for the 2024 solar eclipse. Now imagine being in this path. Suddenly the day turns into an eerie twilight. The temperature drops, birds go quiet. It's a sensation that's hard to put into words, an experience that truly reminds us of our place in the cosmos. But why is this path important? Well, it's only within this narrow path, usually no more than 100 miles wide, that one can witness a total solar eclipse. Step out of it and you'll witness a partial eclipse. Still fascinating, but it's like watching a blockbuster movie in black and white versus full color. The path of totality also offers scientists a unique opportunity. It allows them to study the sun's outer atmosphere or corona, 
which is typically obscured by the sun's bright light. And each eclipse offers a different perspective, as the path of totality changes with every event. Being in the path of totality is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It's a brief encounter, a fleeting moment when the universe aligns just right, and for those few minutes, we are given a glimpse into the grandeur of our cosmos, a spectacle that leaves us in awe of the world we inhabit and the universe we are part of. How long does totality last during a solar eclipse? Well, it's a fascinating topic indeed. The duration of totality, that captivating moment when the moon fully obscures the sun, varies depending on several factors. One of the primary factors is your location along the path of totality. The path of totality is like a celestial highway that the shadow of the moon travels along during a solar eclipse. If you're standing right in the center of that highway, you'll experience the longest duration of totality. Stray too far to the sides and totality becomes shorter until eventually you're in a location where only a partial eclipse is visible. The Earth's shape, the moon's elliptical orbit, and the distance between the Earth and the moon at the time of the eclipse also play a role in how long totality lasts. Even the sun's size can influence the duration because a larger apparent sun size results in a shorter totality. Now let's talk about the recent total solar eclipse that occurred on April 8, 2024. This remarkable event offered a maximum totality duration of up to four minutes in some locations. Four minutes might not seem like a long time, but when you're standing under a darkened sky in the middle of the day, watching the sun's corona shimmer around the silhouette of the moon, those four minutes can feel like an eternity. In those moments, time seems to stand still. The temperature drops, stars may become visible, and a sunset-like glow can be seen all around the horizon. It's a surreal experience that many describe as otherworldly or even life-changing. So while the duration of totality during a solar eclipse may be brief, the impact of witnessing this celestial spectacle can last a lifetime. Even though totality is brief, it's a moment that leaves a lasting impression. Solar eclipses are not just visually stunning, they're also scientifically significant. The spectacle that is a solar eclipse is more than just a treat for the eyes. It is a unique opportunity for scientists to study and understand our very own star, the Sun. As the Moon takes its position between the Earth and the Sun, it allows scientists to observe and study the Sun's outer layer, known as the corona. During a solar eclipse, the corona becomes visible as a halo of radiant, wispy light around the darkened moon. Understanding the corona is crucial as it is the sun's hottest layer and the source of solar wind, a stream of charged particles that affect our planet's magnetic field, leading to beautiful phenomena like the northern and southern lights. However, the high temperature of the corona remains a mystery as it is much hotter than the surface of the sun a puzzle that scientists have been trying to solve for decades. During the 2024 eclipse, scientists had the unique opportunity to study the corona in detail. With a multitude of scientific projects planned, they aimed to gather data on the corona's temperature, density, and magnetic fields. This data will help improve our understanding of the sun's activity and behavior. Moreover, solar eclipses also allow for the study of solar storms which are bursts of radiation from the sun that can potentially disrupt our technology and power grids. The 2024 eclipse offered a rare chance for scientists to observe these solar storms and gather valuable data to predict space weather, an essential aspect for the future of space missions and our technology-dependent world. So while we marvel at the beauty of a solar eclipse, let's not forget the vital role it plays in advancing our knowledge of the sun and our space environment. Solar eclipses provide a rare opportunity for scientists to study the sun in ways not possible at other times. If you missed the 2024 solar eclipse, don't worry. There are more opportunities to witness this celestial event. Solar eclipses are not as rare as you might think. In fact, they occur roughly every 18 months somewhere around the globe. However, being in the right place at the right time to experience totality, that's the tricky part. For those who are willing to travel, Future solar eclipses offer exciting opportunities for exploration and discovery. Over the next decade, the path of totality will pass over various continents, providing a unique chance to witness this celestial spectacle in all its glory. In the year 2026, for example, a total solar eclipse will cross over Western Europe and Spain. 
Moving forward to 2029, another eclipse will trace a path across the South Pacific, Chile, and Argentina. By 2031, the path of totality will return to Africa, passing over Namibia and Botswana. You see, each solar eclipse is unique, with its own path of totality and duration of darkness. And while the 2024 eclipse was certainly spectacular, future eclipses promise to be equally breathtaking. But remember, safety first. Never look directly at the sun without proper eye protection. Special eclipse glasses or solar filters for your telescope are a must-have to safely enjoy the show. So mark your calendars, fellow sky gazers. Whether you're a seasoned eclipse chaser or a first-time observer, the future holds plenty of opportunities for you to witness the awe-inspiring spectacle of a total solar eclipse. With a bit of planning, you could witness a solar eclipse in the future. We've covered a lot of ground today from the stages of a solar eclipse to its scientific significance. We've journeyed through the path of totality, stretching from Texas to Maine, and experienced the awe-inspiring moment of totality, a spectacle that united millions in a shared experience of cosmic wonder. We delved into the science of solar eclipses, revealing how these celestial events provide a unique opportunity for scientists to study the sun's corona, its outer atmosphere usually hidden by the sun's brilliance. The data gathered during these moments of totality are invaluable, aiding our understanding of solar activity and its impact on our planet's technology and future space missions. We also looked ahead to future solar eclipses, a reminder that the dance between the sun, moon, and earth is a recurring marvel. Each eclipse, with its own unique path of totality and duration, offers a fresh opportunity to witness and appreciate our place in the universe. Our journey doesn't end here. There's a whole universe out there waiting to be explored and each eclipse is a reminder of how much there is to learn and discover. So let's keep exploring together, plan to witness the next solar eclipse, dive deeper into the science behind these remarkable events, and remember every time you look up at the sky, you're part of a cosmic ballet that's been unfolding for billions of years. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the 2024 solar eclipse. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into our universe.